the freedom of expression on the internet. A study has shown that uh, with growing access to information in cyberspace, there is a raise of censorship and filtering, which is done not only by government organizations, but also by private companies, which have diverse goals and values. We need to explore their relations. And uh, there are also various policy approaches we need to explore further, including industrial policy and regulation, such as a copyright and user-centric approach, such as uh, child protection policy, net-centric policy, such as linking to uh, internationalization of domain names, and also the security policy in terms of relation to privacy and freedom of expression. The second workshop uh, is also in light of the, it's uh, about the, uh, it's focused on how to find the applica applicable standards and legislation on the, um, of the social media. And uh, participants have shared uh, good practice on privacy uh, protection, some legal and regulatory instruments for social networking have been developed uh, aiming to protect uh, users' right to inform, to leave, and to control their personal data. But still, there are many questions posed by participants, how do we provide a reasonable privacy and security in a computing continuum? How do we promote this in the same global environment, freedom of expression? Many participants called for more education initiatives, such as the use of potential online tools to prevent unexpected results. All in all, UNESCO views freedom of expression and privacy interdependent within the same international legal framework of human rights. The challenge of applying the instruments exists in the discrepancy of the legal framework between online territory and the real one. To address these challenges, uh, we, UNESCO will uh, continue to promote uh, internet collaboration between the different uh, sectors. Thank you. Thank you, Shan. And with this, I pass it on to Lisa. Thank you 